Morning everybody. Pappy coming from the shed. I'm coming with you with another idea that is not new. I uh, made some some of these so I could do some catfishing and I'm going to be using 3 hot gamakatsu circle hooks. And um, I made mine a lot shorter than some of the other ones. Um, I glued the pool noodle to a three quarter inch PVC pipe with cap. It has a cap here. I don't know if you can see it. That little eye there that the line will get tied to. But right now, this isn't glued on or anything. I'm going to glue it. But I was thinking about putting BBs in it. So when it, I guess if it's a little bit of the water's got some waves in it, it'll do that and maybe attract something to it. Might even try it for snakehead. I don't know. So, um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to be using some 30 pound braid on this and um yeah so hopefully i'll be able to use these this year if not i'll definitely make one next year with it so if you watch this channel hold me to it um so that's all for this one and if you remember it was just on the last video it was toward the end when i was talking and um about the trash that people leave and I found that net that had no handle and it was all torn and everything. Well, I brought it home. I sanded it down, repainted it, put a new net on it. That came yesterday and I put the net on it, got the stainless steel bolts on. And right now I have the handle that I bought from an old, not an old, I bought a, a mop head that looked like it would fit in. So I sawed it up the top off and it fits in. The only problem is there was plastic coating over the um, the rod that I'm going to be using for the handle. And it's uh, steel. I checked it with a magnet, so that will rust. And until, But until I find an aluminum piece that goes in there, right now I have that. I just spray painted it, and that's drying. And I'll go get the net so I can show you what I did with that just until the handle's done. Actually, I can probably even grab the handle now. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, here's the handle. As you can see, I still have the paint right here. I have, to find some, um, I have to find my paint tape and wrap it around there. But, I mean, it'll do for now. It perfectly fits in the hole. That's on there. And here's the net. It's a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but that's perfect. It fits on there nice. I got the stainless steel bolts on it. I painted all, repainted all this black. And it... I don't know if the paint's going to make it sticky, but nope. It'll go right in, and it feels, once I get a, a, a screw in there or whatever I'm going to hold it with, it'll hold it nice and tight. So um, I think it'll work out at least until I can find uh, an aluminum handle for it. I don't know why these people are throwing these nets away, but they can be easily fixed. So um, that's the video for today, guys. Just keep in mind, it can be if it can be fixed, fix it. All right, don't throw it away, especially don't leave it at the lake. It's trash everywhere. The, um, if all that stuff gets in there, like if they would have left this, not this net, but if they would have left the net and just threw it in the water, something could have got tangled up in it. There, there are turtles in there. As you, if you watch my videos, you can see that in the ditch. So um, keep in mind with that stuff. Pick it up, take it home, fix it, or throw it away at the house. That's the video for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And leave a comment below if you have anything to tell me about anything of this, like a better way to do stuff or where I can find myself a, an aluminum handle that fits this perfect. Then let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice day. Oh, something ripped. Oh. He, he wanted that. Oh, my God, he got off.